Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we are going to discuss part number 6 of SA 210. In today's discussion, we are going to discuss about the topic recurring audit. So as per SA 210, a recurring audit refers to the audit carried out for more than one financial year. In the brackets are written continuous. I have already given this example in the previous discussions, but I will repeat it once again. So there is a chartered accountant by the name A. So CAA and he has been offered an audit for the continuous second time by his client A Limited. Continuous second time means like for the uh, financial year 2018-19, Mr. CAA was appointed and he had carried on the audit for A Limited for 18-19. Now 18-19 is completed, he's completed the audit. For the year 19-20 also, A Limited appoints him as auditor and he is to be carrying out the audit. Now when there is no gap like 1819 also he only audited CAA and 1920 also is going to audit so there's no gap that's continuity that's a continuing he's continuing the audit for the same uh, entity the same client so this is called as a recurring audit now in terms of recurring audit there are certain requirements with respect to recurring audit so you have to determine these uh, requirements with respect to uh, recurring audit as per SA 210 so there are two requirements firstly the auditor CAA when he audited this A Limited in 2018-19 the last year he would have done it on the basis of some existing terms there must be some terms of engagement that time right so the auditor has to just remind the entity or the client of this existing term which were in place in the end of 18-19 financial year this is the first requirement he has to remind the entity of existing terms the second requirement is check for any revision if there is any requirement if the if there is any requirement for revision of terms of audit engagement if there is any requirement for revising the terms of audit engagement suppose the answer to this question is yes it is required it is required the revision of terms of engagement is required then what will we do and suppose it is no it is not required then what will we do now if it is required an auditor needs to send to the entity client a new engagement letter send the new engagement letter this will be covered in a separate discussion in the last part of essay 210 the send send new engagement letter that we shall discuss it further in the last part of essay 210 so basically if the revision of terms is required then he has to as an auditor you have to send a new engagement letter send a new engagement letter okay and this will be covered in the last part of SA 210. Now, if it is not required, then as an auditor, you have no further duty because the revision is not required. You don't need to send any new engagement letter in this case. There is no duty left other than carrying on the audit. So there's no duty in respect of sending new engagement letter, no duty in respect of SA 210. This no further duty does not mean no, don't need to carry on the audit. You have to carry out the audit. That is a different duty. Okay. Here by saying no further duty in respect of SA 210 there is no further duty because there is only the existing terms are going to be again reminded to the management okay so there is no need to change revise the terms so there is no further duty in this respect so I hope recurring audit as per SA 210 is very clear to you all if you have any doubts please do leave it in the comment section below and thank you so much for supporting guys please do like share subscribe to my channel and leave your feedback in the comment section. Let me know your thoughts. And uh, keep supporting. Thank you so much. Happy learning. Bye.